Gold Rush Chevrolet in Auburn, California is offering GM employee pricing on every new 2013 Chevy in stock. Plus, every pre-owned vehicle will be priced to sell. Use this opportunity to grab the 2013 Chevy Silverado. That's Gold Rush Chevrolet in Auburn, California. Casey, last week, the Golden Eagles beat Elk Grove on Friday night to win the section title. After the game, it seemed like you kind of forgot there was another game to be played after that. It's kind of nice to have another week of practice here. Uh, there's no doubt about it. It was a great night for the Golden Eagles there Friday night. Um, real happy. I'm proud of our guys. Uh, just the way the game was going, the wet and the adversity we faced. And, you know, basically getting handled the first 40 minutes of the game. But, uh, you know, those last seven minutes were really special for us. Um, started with making a couple plays. Dylan had a big run. Our guys started believing. We had a big onside kick. And, uh, you know, you kind of get momentum. Momentum is such a huge thing, especially in a high school sports. If you get the momentum on your side, a lot of good things can happen. But our, uh, you know, I think our senior leadership just fell through. They uh, didn't give up. They didn't quit. They kept inspiring and told the guys to keep believing. And uh, it's amazing what can happen when everybody believes it and uh, doesn't quit. And uh, we got, finally got some breaks and took advantage of them, had some big plays down the stretch. And, uh, you know, able, fortunate enough to come away home with the section championship. Over the weekend, the CIF selected the Eagles to play Sarah. Uh, Friday night for the NorCal Regional Bowl. You guys looking forward to that one? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I mean, we're honored to be playing at a NorCal Regional. Uh, it's the first time uh, our school has been involved in that. And uh, to play a team like Sarah, it's a very good team. has a great tradition. Um, they're a very good football team. I uh, watched them on film and seen them live. Uh, you know, we got our hands full this Friday. But, uh, you know, we feel we match up well. We feel we have a good chance going down there. If we continue to do what we're doing, taking care of the football, tackling well on defense, and playing solid special teams, we feel we can get the game in the fourth quarter and hopefully have some more magic like we had last week. What kind of offense does Sarah run? Uh, they're, they're a spread team, but they have a lot of multiple looks. They run uh, um, a little bit of uh, double wing stuff and some short yard stuff. And then uh, defensively, they're uh, multiple uh, 40 front with uh, little bare fronts that they play. They play a lot of man. They've got some real good guys in the secondary. They're, like I said, they're real physical and fast, uh, very athletic on both sides of the ball. Um, like I said, we're going to have to do we're gonna have to play good on all levels to you know, have a chance on Friday. But uh, we feel good. You know, We're going to have a long drive down there, but uh, we've uh, been on a bus a long time to San Diego and down to Concord. Uh, so that's kind of why we play those games we did on the front side of our season was to get ready for uh, you know, this one this Friday. So hopefully we can take all those experiences and uh, you know, combine them to a good uh, 48 minutes on Friday night. You got a lot of sophomores who played on that state bowl team in 2011. You think they want to get back to that oh, game? There's no doubt about it. I mean, I think that's what you play the game for, to be able to play in a state championship. And, uh, you know, these guys have been breaking some breaks throughout the year, you know, straight to state or what have you. And it's funny how it's coming. We're pretty close. You're one win away from going there. So, uh, you know, we don't want to look too far ahead, uh, but, but uh, we feel like, uh, you know, we have a great shot on Friday night, and hopefully we'll get the whole town down there in uh, San Jose representing well, and hopefully put a good 48 minutes together and have an opportunity to play in the state finals the following week. All right. Last couple games, Michael Moore has been coming up pretty clutch for you. He's got 13 touchdowns in the playoffs, eight in the last two games. How big is a part of, you know, making it this far has he been in the playoffs? Oh, there's no doubt. Not just the playoffs, but through the whole year. He's been a leader of our offense and uh, just made plays all year. Really runs the offense well. But, yeah, he's been special the last uh, couple playoff games and throughout the playoffs. And just real proud of him. I thought he was got a little flustered early, got some pressure on him, and uh, he had some throws he probably wanted to take back. And uh, that's just a credit to him of uh, making plays there in the fourth quarter with the rain in your face, wind in your face, and uh, get the ball out to give Trey an opportunity to make some catches and then hitting Dylan on that screen pass to win it. Um, you know, I've been more prouder than a quarterback than Mike on Friday night. He just really willed us to, to make him come back and he did a great job. We wouldn't be where we're at with the Mike. He made some pretty smart decisions. He's a pretty smart guy off the field, too. No doubt about it. Mike Smiley has got the best GPA on the team. It's something like a 4 3 5, something like that. But he's he's outstanding in the classroom. He's, besides that, he's a, just a great leader on campus. We're all involved in our character development program. Uh, he's been at a uh, you know, special needs prom, maybe in Dreams, Character Combine, and uh, he even led a rally in front of the whole school last year with anti bullying. Um, you know, he's just a great kid, class act kid. Uh, he's a you know, triple threat on in campus and uh, the community and on the field. He's just had a special year this year. He'll go down as one of the you know, best quarterbacks here at Del Oro. All right, anything else you'd like to add, Coach? Hey, looking forward to you know, a big game. Well, yeah, you know it's a long ways to go, but we really want the town of Loomis down there. We really need your support on Friday night. Uh, we won't have the weather we had last week, so uh, we really want people to come on down and uh, get behind us. Uh, we got a great opportunity Friday, and we can't get it done without you guys.